Hey, what is up guys? This is Bo or Carl Hungus 712 and today I'm going to be bringing you some domination gameplay with uh, Junior and Jesse here. We're, we're rocking out some domination here on uh, Nuketown uh, 2086 aka Grind. It seems like when this, I used to love this map, this is such a, such a great map, but uh, whenever this comes up in the rotation, this map is always picked. It's just one big sniper fest most of the time, quick scoping fest. Which again, I don't mind once in a while, but when it's non-stop, constant, everybody does the same thing every single game. It sometimes gets boring to me, but I still love the map color, color wise. Layout is a very nice laid out map. The map has a great layout. Fortunately, not everybody uh, really uses the lanes like like they could, but anyways, I dropped a pretty good gameplay here for you guys. You gotta go 44 and 18, and I'm playing a real. We're playing against actually a really good clan. I can't remember what their name is, but they it was a. You could tell it was a group of buddies here. They were all synchronized up pretty good, and uh, they're really good. They give us a struggle. Uh, we start off the first half being down by quite a bit. We make one hell of a push in the end. Um, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to give it away. Uh, you'll have to stay for the end to see if we end up coming back enough. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. You'll have to see. I finally, uh, on my Road to Commander series, I finally unlocked the old Scar here. It's a great domination weapon. It's actually one I'm kind of surprised the pros didn't use more in the competitive scene. I understand it shoots a little slower and it's kind of a heavy weapon, but it's pretty damn accurate. Got to watch out for really long shots, but damage-wise, it's consistent. I think it's a three-shot kill weapon from anywhere on the map. But uh, anyways, I'm going to get into a, what I wanted to talk to you today about, guys, and that's uh, that's our Call of Duty community, if you can even call it that. And one thing I've been experiencing ever since I got into the Call of Duty community, and one thing I experienced last night, or it wasn't last night, but it was a couple nights ago, that I thought was kind of funny. And uh, I don't know if you guys receive a lot of messages after matches, either either people are mad or upset at you, or... They just, they don't, people just like to shit talk. And I've always been one who, I don't really shit talk, it's not really, not really my thing, it's not really my forte. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily have a problem with people doing it, uh, but I just, I, I sometimes laugh at the timing when people uh, decide they're going to run their mouth and shit talk. A uh, good example is last night, or, I'm sorry guys, I keep saying last night, but a couple nights ago, uh, Junior and I decided to get on Ghost. We were playing, I think we were playing some Domination again on there on, uh, I think it was Warhawk, which is one of my favorite maps. This is a really, really good map on Ghost, even, even though the, a lot of the maps I didn't care for in Ghost, there were quite a few that were pretty solid. But anyways, um, I had been playing Advanced Warfare for a couple of weeks. I definitely got some gameplay coming up for you guys on that, some really good gameplay, actually. But I've been playing some Advanced Warfare, and you guys know if you play Advanced Warfare and you try to go back and play Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, MW2, any of the games, you're going to be rusty. And uh, the, the movement in the new game is just so fast. Uh, it's more about hip firing and a lot of stuff like that. It's, it's, it's a lot different. The meta, the meta game and, and Advanced Warfare is a lot different. So, of course, when I went into Ghost, I was struggling. I, was, I wasn't used to the sensitivity of my controller and some other stuff and I had a pretty bad match to start off I think I went 14 and 19 but typically when when I have a bad match like that or when I'm getting out shot or when just my shots not on you know which happens sometimes uh, I say okay hey I'm playing a I'm playing the uh, and I'm an objective based game so I'm really gonna put all my focus on getting the objectives when I play domination I always get on flags you guys have seen that from some of the Gameplay I've already brought you, but I always get on the flags no matter what. But like I said, when I'm having a bad game, I put on my trophy system class, and that's my objective. Get my ass on the flags, cap as many flags as I can, and try to hold them off. So I was playing this one guy, and his name was like Critical or something like that. You could tell he was a pretty good player. You know, he is he a pro player by any means? Hell no. But, he, you know, he's a pretty good player. And... Uh, I remember coming, running into him a few times on the map because he was, of course, the only guy wearing a ghillie suit on the other team, so that always stands out. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going back and forth trading kills and stuff, and I think he ends up finishing the match like 35 and, <clears throat> 35 and 20 with one capture. Of course, the free capture you get at the very beginning of the game. No other captures. Didn't help his team all, at all, or out at all on that. And like I said, I finished bad. I was like 14 and 19. 
But I think I had seven or eight caps. Junior and I both had like seven or eight captures in that game. We we ended up coming into the match being down by just a ton. And uh, <clears throat> we ended up making a making a push, and I think we ended up losing by only like ten. So I get a message from him after the game's over with, and it says something along the lines of 14 and 19, why jump? And I'm thinking to myself, you know, why the hell is this guy messaging me? What's, what, you know, what's up? Why jump, huh? Okay, so <clears throat> I message this guy back and say, you know, hey, uh, just I've got a scuff controller. I'm used to doing it. I said, uh, especially on advanced warfare, playing that a lot. But I said, you know, I just like to change the angle of my shots and make myself a much more difficult target to hit. And that's why I've got a scuff controller. It helps me play competitively, and it, it just helps. Unless you already play claw or something like that, or you have really quick fingers. But uh, I get a message back from him, you know, learn how to play the game before you start jumping, you, you idiot, or something like that. And it's the simple fact that, you know, this guy didn't send me a message the last three matches when I was dropping 40, 45 kills and destroying him. I get a message after I have one bad game that I'm an asshole and that I'm a loser and that, you know, I, I, I shouldn't be playing the game and I'm terrible at the game because I had one bad game KD-wise, but yet I lead him and the entire other team in points because I'm playing the objective, yet I'm the one that doesn't know how to play the game or doesn't understand it because I'm not, you know, sitting outside of flags, not doing anything, just shooting people as they run by or laying in garbage with a ghillie suit. I'm I'm the bad guy, you know. I'm I'm the I'm the noob. I'm the I'm the dumbass. I'm the amateur here, because you know I decided. Well, my shots not the best today, especially from being from switching over from Adva advanced warfare back to ghosts, which is a much slower gameplay, as you guys know, going into ghosts, uh, TDM domination uplink or not uplink. I'm sorry. Um, Oh god, what is it again? Their their other competitive mode. It's almost like one cap CTF, a uh, blitz. Excuse me, guys, blitz. Um, you know the game modes are much slower. They're not. They're, it's not a fast-paced game. It was. It's much slower, more uh, tactical <coughs> type of game. You know, because definitely because of the bugs fixed in the hip detection system. But I just I, I find this funny, and I've gotten messages like this many other times too. That, you know, I, they, they, I don't get a message when I trash the other team, you know, with a 40, 50, 60 kill game. I only, oh, excuse me guys, I only get that message when I decide that when I have that one bad game, yet I still help my team by playing the objective and doing as much as I can that way. Throwing down trophy systems and protecting our teammates to the full extent. You know, that's that's when I get the message. And and that's one of the problems I've had with this community, and I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about this, too. But I just, I think this Call of Duty community is just, it's, I don't think it's the worst. I actually think Battlefield's got pro quite possibly the worst community. There's some other bad ones, too. Uh, Madden's got a few problems in it, but Madden's even not, not that terrible. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I think Battlefield's got the most elitist uh, type of... Uh, community if you look at it that way and I don't even know if you can call this a community because I think really everybody's out for whatever they want it's a very egoistic point of view the communities I've noticed everybody's out for themselves you know what if if I can use this guy and get ahead well he can go fuck himself and I'm just I'm just gonna you know bend the rules and do what I have to and kiss ass to get where I need to go you know needs uh, hey I need some 10 more subscribers for my site hey I'm gonna go kiss these guys ass and then go fuck themselves in the end you know, everybody's everybody seems to be out for themselves in this community, or it's you know, it's shit talking and trash talking. And like I said again, um, I'm not gonna tell you what I guys what I said back to him, guys, just because it was it's kind of naughty, a little little on the naughty side. But uh, um, I'm I'm just a really big smart ass when I have to be to these guys. And like I said, I'm not I'm not gonna even tell you guys because it's not relevant really. Um, was I mad about it? No, I just, I, I almost find it comical, though, that, that people can take time out of their lives to sit there and message a guy back. I actually had this happen one night, too. Another story for you guys when it comes to the community. One night I was playing Uplink with Quinn, another buddy of mine, and I ended up having a really bad game in league play. I was like 10 and 25, don't tell anybody that a competitive player goes 10 and 25. But, yes, even pro players have bad games, believe it or not. But, uh, even though I'm not a pro player, I've seen it. But, anyways, somebody sent me a message telling me that I didn't have any thumbs because I had one bad game. Well, then Quinn and I go into a hard point game and I drop 50 kills. And then I sent him a message back, you know, hey, hey, man, you know, 
I, I appreciate you telling me that I'm a bi the biggest piece of shit on the planet, but uh, just to let you know, I just dropped 50 kills, one hard point, went into search and destroy, drops, went 16 and 3, planted a couple of bombs, a couple of defends, uh, or a couple of defuses. Um, but, you know, thanks thanks for telling me I've got no thumbs. You know, I'm, I, and I let him know, hey, you know, even the best of players, even even the best of players have bad games. But I just want to know what you guys think about the Call of Duty community, if you agree with me, if not, you know, what you think about it. But uh, it's one thing, when when it continues like it does, I've, I almost think about hanging up my cleats and retiring, but I, I love the game too much to do that. But, you know, it just, it's it's not something that bothers me. It's just when when you get involved in a group with a group of people like that, I don't want to be associated with, with kids like this and with guys like this and people like this, girls, guys, kids, uh, women, men, whatever whatever they are. It just, it, it upsets me that I'm actually associated with these people. But like I said, I want to hear what you guys have to say about the community. Do you agree with me? Have you ever had these problems too? But anyways, uh, I look forward to seeing you next video and bow out.